Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. We're talking spaghetti squash 101, how to prepare and basically cook a spaghetti squash. I do have a link to a video below where I actually demonstrated how to cook a spaghetti squash the way I prefer to do it. But anyway, I'll just give you a rundown on this and some directions below. First of all, you want to wash your squash, for sure. And then you want to cut it. Uh, you can roast it whole, but to start with, one option would be to cut it. People will usually cut it from end to end, stem end to blossom end. And uh, that way, when you uh, take the strands out, you've got two very nice little shells that can be used as serving boats if you want to do that. Otherwise, you could cut it around the periphery, around the middle of it, and then put those halves upside down as you roast them in the oven. Either way works fine, it just depends on what's right for you. Now, typically we will take the halves and put them on a parchment paper lined baking sheet and put them in the oven at 400 degrees and roast them until you can poke a knife or a fork through them. A lot of people will coat the squash inside and out, at least inside, with some olive oil. They may sprinkle some salt and pepper on it. But I can tell you from firsthand experience, it's not mandatory to do that. You can roast them just fine without the oil. Other people will say that if you don't use the oil, you need to add a little bit of water to the pan. Not true. On the demonstration that I've got in the link below, you can just put them, cut them, take the seeds out if you want to, and then put them cut side down on parchment paper lined baking sheet, put them in the oven for 400, at 400 degrees for however long it takes somewhere around a half hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit longer. Depends on the size of your squash and how many pieces are on that baking pan, okay? If you don't have a really sharp knife and you don't want a chance cutting them because they are a little bit of a challenge to cut, you can take a fork or a knife and poke some holes in there, not a whole lot, just a few. Put them in the microwave for a couple minutes and that will give it just a little bit of a head start to cook. Take it out, let it cool down just a little bit till you can handle it, then cut it and it'll be a lot easier to cut and then you can proceed with your roasting. Now once you cut it, there's seeds in there that need to be removed. You can remove them either before you roast it or after you roast it. If you want to wait until after, they're a little bit easier to remove. The choice is yours. At any rate, it's not hard to cook them. Check out the video link below where I demonstrate how to cook it without oil, without added water, in the oven at 400 degrees. If you choose not to use parchment paper, you can also roast it on a glass baking sheet, but about 10-15 minutes into the process, you do want to take them out and kind of move them around a little bit because at that point they will start to stick and if you move them around a little bit they will have released a little bit of their juices that will keep them from sticking further and then when you're all done they'll just come right off the glass no problem no oil needed okay no oil is needed in the roasting process of winter squash and today we're talking spaghetti squash let me know if you have any questions or comments below I'll be glad to address them if I possibly can. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.